What's going on everyone? My name is Josh Source and welcome to my channel. Today we're at this crazy auto wreckers. It's going to be an exciting video. We're going to be just looking around, looking at all these thousands and thousands and thousands of abandoned cars. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Tag along for the adventure. guys so let's check this place out like it's just nuts like there's thousands and thousands and thousands of abandoned cars here on acres like i'd say probably like 100 acres of land here it's just trees growing through cars this place is just beautiful All these abandoned cars. Yeah, this is the Ghostbusters car, actually. Yeah, that is nuts. It's pretty neat. Even this one back here is kind of like it, but a little different. This beautiful car. And just keeps going guys it just keeps going through the forest so i guess we'll go this way check out as much as we can in the forest first just lines of cars This place is an auto wrecker. It's actually owned. You can get permission to come here and film, but you have to speak to the owners of the property and uh, sometimes pay a fee to uh, get in. So we paid our way in and we're exploring. And honestly, I'm happy I'm doing it. I've been here once before, or I've been here a few times actually in the past with uh, some friends of mine. So thought I'd come check it out for you guys, right? Make a video for you guys to see. Got a bunch of old cars. Look at this one, guys. Kind of reminds me of one of the old, old, old ambulances. Engines in there. Got mosquitoes on me. Got my friend Daniel with me. I'm gonna check out this car back here. Look at this. This place is definitely the spot for car lovers. People that love cars. People that like to do stuff to their cars. You can get parts here as well. Look at this beautiful blue car. The bugs are coming out pretty good right now because it rained, so. Yeah. Just cars on either side of you guys. Just 
from what I, what I understand, guys, is the furthest back is the oldest cars. Then as you come further in, it starts to become the newer cars just because that's uh, how they used to load it, is as far back as possible first, and then uh, move their way up. Look at this, guys. Just cars. Another blue car. I like the color blue, guys. Especially on cars. And backpacks. And backpacks. Look at this old thing. I don't even know what make it is or anything like that. Pickup. Old pickup, yeah. No more roof. Chevy. Yeah, it's pretty hot today, guys. It's like um, a heat warning day. And also, uh, it rained earlier, so the bugs are just out. And these bug bites are like, normally you get a mosquito bite and you're like, okay. You only really feel it the next day. But these ones are like instant itch. Like the second you get them, you're itching right away. And they don't stop either. This reminds me of the burr wash video, guys. When I went out to burr wash, I got eaten alive by mosquitoes just because it just rained and they all came out. So we got this crazy bus here. And honestly, guys, we're not even like a quarter of the way in yet. Like this place just keeps going and going and going. So I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Look at this bus, guys. CN. Old convertible. Look at this yellow old pickup truck, guys. Just crazy looking. Cars after cars after cars. Like this is just insane guys. Like just to believe that all these cars used to be used on a daily basis and now they're all just left here to be abandoned pretty much. Only be used for parts. You can see people have come and destroyed some of them. Which isn't really nice. Especially when you're on someone else's property. You shouldn't really be destroying too much things. Or anything, to be honest. It's one thing that bothers me is you could keep the beauty of these things. But instead these people are... Instead these people are destroying them. And leaving them broken and wrecked. Like we got more buses over there that we're going to check out in a minute. But first we're going to go down this way. Cars, and cars, and cars. Like there's just cars on either side of me here, guys. Like, like this is insane. Like, this this place is just acres and acres and acres of just abandoned cars now. Like, it reminds me of some zombie movie, some Walking Dead, something like that. Like, this is crazy. Hey, look at this, guys. Another entire row of just cars. There's cars on either side of me. You got old cars, you got some newer cars. 
Like it's just nuts. I'll just pan back and forth for you guys. Show you guys. Look at this old Ford. Yeah, it's crazy. Buick. You got like every single make of car here, guys. I would say the only cars that this place probably doesn't have is like extremely luxury cars. Everything else they got. Like you got these old school buses, you got old factory trucks, you got old transport trucks. This old bus? That would be it. Guys, I just saw this. I just wanted to show you guys this. This thing actually has like blood on it. This broken glass. So maybe someone got hurt here. Or something dangerous happened. Is there any blood inside? I don't see any blood inside. But yeah, there's like blood all over that. Maybe for a movie or something. I don't know. It's pretty sketchy though. guys so yeah guys if you're new to my channel uh, what you could expect is a lot of explorers I do a lot of haunted things as well haunted investigations um, Ouija board stuff and uh, I'll do travel vlogs I, I do uh, truck life so I live in the Jeep sometimes and I'll travel around and uh, do as many explores like you possibly can so if you guys enjoy that type of stuff make sure you go down and drop the subscribe button because you'll definitely enjoy the content that i'm making if you guys enjoy that it probably is at night time yeah most likely splitting up there from my friend, he wanted to go check out some trucks. He's a truck driver, so he enjoys uh, the big haulers and everything like that. So he's going to check some of that out. And I'm just here showing you guys as much cars as I possibly can for all you car lovers out there. I came here once in the uh, winter time and it was so hard to see everything. And it was just terrible too because you're tracking through the snow, so it's like adding so much extra weight to your body as you're just walking through. And it just became such a hassle to get through. And by the end of it, we were all just exhausted and we just wanted to go home and sleep. The, the people I were with, the people I was with had such a long drive ahead of them too. Um, luckily, I don't live too far from this area. So this is a pretty local spot, I guess you could say for me. So that was luckily but unfortunately for my friends there that came out with me they were unfortunate enough to have to drive back with wet boots and uh, dangerous weather because it was a bad snowstorm that day too now we're getting into the trucks guys look at this old tractor Trucks open. Animals probably love that at nighttime. So, this is the truck that my buddy's actually looking at right now. Hey, Daniel, you want to give us some information on this bad boy? Old Western Star. Ornament. 
and you can't find them because they stopped making hoods with so much detail. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Um, this era probably would have been made in Kelowna, BC. That's pretty interesting. Okay. So um, they moved recently out of Kelowna. Uh, I think we got some black stuff. See the horns up there. Doot, doot. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel, for that history lesson there. This is like the truck section. You got a car on top of a truck. Sounds like he's back there, so maybe we'll go this way. Yeah, he's right over there. There's more rows of cars, guys. It never ends here. It never, never ends. Yeah, it's like an old camper bus. Or something like that, anyways. You can actually get in it too, guys. Look at this. This place was converted into a camper trailer. Sorry, I had to make a little dive out. But this is insane, guys, eh? An old bus tramp camper. Keep their extra tires back there just in case anything were to happen. Twenty sixteen. Yeah guys, it's crazy. Just crazy. Of course, I close it back up, guys. Close that back up because I don't want to make a mess or get any animals in there for them. So, yeah, let's just keep going. That was a pretty sweet find to be able to get in there and show you guys all around that. All right, guys, check this out. Going through another little four section of it. Now we're back behind all these cars that were along that forest there, guys. We're not gonna grab it, buddy. No. Oh, you actually had a full web on your cap. Jesus. Why? Always me, man. Yeah, we're on our way out now, guys. We've explored majority of it that we could get to. The other part is completely swamped around right now. So the owners told us not to go back there at the moment, just cause the rain, the rain came down pretty hard last night. So it uh, caused a big swamp around it, so.
right guys, just like that we got another video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. All three of those things help me out with my algorithm on YouTube to get these videos pushed out to more people. And as always, I love you, take care, and peace.